Anyway, going back mm. to the various topics, you were wondering about the commentators because you, you heard the drama show mm. uh, as you came in. Yes, that was the drama show. Right? <laughs> I was wondering what I was listening to. <laughs> well, yes, I had to guess. You had to guess. I had to guess. But that's, that's the well, beauty of radio. You have it, to is. Guess. it is. Well, you remember the storyteller? The yes, stand -up yes I remember him very well. He used to tell stories, essentially. <laughs> well, he was a storyteller. He, he was the story storyteller. Stories. <laughs> but he was also part of Witsuf and Dior Theatre. Right. So it's a, it, there's a sort of thin line between mm. storytelling and theatre. Right. And I'm, I used to sit in for him in the summertime, and I, now I've sort of carried on doing that. Mm -hmm. And my idea is to find bits and pieces here and there. Mm -hmm. And um, the commentators were part of Kinder Exeter. Mm -hmm. They came up with the Compassion Radio. And um, they had broadcast quality, um, that's outside broadcast microphones, mm. and windshielded microphones. Yes. And then they had a sort of shopping trolley, <laughs> well, it's my, my description of it. <laughs> a shopping, a shopping trolley, yep. which had a, a loudspeaker mm. on the on the uh, mostly, and then it had a plastic bag above it, mm. a very secure plastic bag to keep the rain off. And exactly what equipment they had inside that bag, I don't know. Mm. Oh right, but I think we should know. I think <laughs> you'll find out. I think Exeter radio people should try right. and investigate. Maybe Tech Exeter could mm. do a study. Um, but there was a mobile phone involved. I oh, did right. see a mobile phone and right. bits of cable. And it appeared also on um, Mixlr. I think I've got mm. that. M-I-X-L-R. Mm -hmm. As a live broadcast. And the sound quality was very good. Right. So, so I saw about half of it in um, Southern Hay. Right. And uh, got some video of that. And then I ran out of battery, so I went home. And I recorded some from the interwebby, mm -hmm. and that's what the that's what you heard. Right. Okay. And um, I think it's very extraordinary mm. because it, it you could sort of regard it as theatre. Mm. So you just observe people commentating, mm. and they they it, you have to get into it. You have to sort of stay mm. with it for a bit. It's either a um, what, what's the word? It's not a satire. It's a sort of take on how how commentators are. Mm -hmm. um, so well, I think like, I think so most of them are over the top anyway. But well, uh, yes. even so, yes, it's how you describe something, yes. a scene yes. to a listener, yes, or two, um, yes. is very important. That's where hospital radio comes in very good for to practice on. Because you're having to... Those people can't go anywhere. No. <laughs> they probably haven't been outside for the last two or three weeks. Right. And you're describing something from outside. That's true. So it is the way in which you describe it on, on radio. Mr Norton is in the building. He's in the building. JD, I think you should go. I'm going. I Hi. think you should, should, be, should go and explore Studio 2. <laughs> and um, I shall play some, some music. 